Okay, today we've got another old machine of mine. This is a Mero A3 DW-1, built sometime between 1945 and 1947. It is a three-thread surging machine, and we've kind of got it cobbled together pretty good here. I don't have a table dedicated for it yet. I don't have a motor, but it does have a half-inch drive shaft for the pulley, and my drill works very well in powering this. Something a little bit to play around with. So what we have today, I'm going to show you a couple of materials it works on. We've got some denim. We've got some ripstop. I think those are both 10 ounce. The denim might be 12 ounce. A little bit of flannel and a little bit of light shirting material here. So we're going to get you set up on the uh, tripod here and we'll have a little bit of fun with this thing. Hopefully y'all can see pretty good. We'll start with the shirting. It's just light duty stuff. Now, this machine, I paid like 50 bucks for it on eBay. And it's got a few problems. One, the lift bar in the back was broken when I got it. So, I have to do that manually. It's not the best, but it works. And we're off. And we'll chain off a bit. More scrap for the pile. And next we'll play a little bit with the rip stop here. We'll take this selvage edge off of it. That's the downside to a cobbled together setup. You kind of got to work with what you got. I'm in the process of getting a table together for it, which is a little bit more permanent. Got a motor on the way. Run this piece of denim next. Yeah, we'll take off that raw edge. Why? Because I can. Now this machine is limited to about four layers of denim. That's what I was running through it earlier, any more than that. And it really gets unhappy. It knocks the knife out of adjustment and uh, just makes a real mess out of things. Now when it grabs that tension, when that uh, spool back there binds up, it throws the tension off and really messes things up. But hey, this isn't a permanent setup anyway. Just kind of having a little bit of fun with this thing today. And for the flannel. It'll rip if you let it. set these up over here and we'll take a closer look yep. bring you on over here it does a really nice job on it for what it is how it's set up for right now I'm sure it'll do a lot better once I've got it permanently set up. But for now, I'm pretty happy with it.